every now and again I buy myself a little toy which surprises me so much by how wicked it is I wonder why I haven't had one before. This is the after video of my Hitachi Stowaway CV7405. Let's have a look and I'll show you what it's turned into. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is the little Hitachi that I got from a good vacuum cleaner collecting friend of mine and others who was having a clear out. And I grabbed it, as you know, and we unboxed it. And I have now refurbished it. And you will notice a you know, big glaring difference in the hose. So we'll get that out of the way first. This is a hose from a horrible bagless fax that I had, which I wasn't going to do anything with. It's not even worth doing a before video of. It smashed, so it went. But I kept the hose because, as you know, the original Hitachi wirebound hose was knackered. They always are. This screwed very nicely onto the ends. I can't pop, if, you know, basically you pop this bit off and then you can screw that on. All It's all hidden under there. And actually suits it quite well. Later Hitachis in the 90s and late 80s had grey plastic hose anyway. So it's not a bad thing. So that is the big difference done with. The small tools have likely barely been used. They are ever so clean and tidy. You know, this crevice tool is far from scuffed up. This is its upholstery tool again. Barely a mark on it. And this is the different colour dusting brush which now lives with this that I got from the same random Hitachi tools as these plastic ones which is a bit of a problem because this obviously is still not complete it's missing the boat bit underneath this would sit on a little box and all the tools would go in it and you would have three plastic ones and they would be a bit shorter but together they would be longer so in this layout it is a little bit short for tall old me i mean it works you know it it does the job but it is rather short the other slight pain in the bum and i've glued it and it's still gone again is this crack in there look it's in fact it is getting worse i think i'm gonna have to look for another hitachi end luckily all i actually need is that bit i don't really care what color either so, yeah, that's the thing. It's a bit annoying, but, you know, more tape will fix that as and when it's needed. We have no floor tool either. And this has lived in various parts of my garden, actually. It never even made it into the shed of broken dreams. That's how, that's how pitiful this thing's life was. And it is a bit tragic. It is properly warped absolutely everywhere. It, it, it does turn you know change its settings and whatnot in fact, i've just noticed that that oh the bumper hasn't clipped back on properly that's not really good oh there we go now i'll clip the bumper back on look <laughs> the thing doesn't sit down oh it's not fab again you can pick these up fairly nice if they are a beautiful head to use even in this one's current state you know if i leave it with the brushes up which don't really poke up that well Anyway, it's okay. It's not a deep cleaning head at all, but it glides so, so much. That's the wrong end of the one because Hitachi's use the other style of tool entry. So, onto the machine itself. And yes, it's all come out rather lovely. The ickle tiny cable comes out and goes back in very nicely indeed the housing cleaned up an absolute treat came up very very well indeed this thing didn't have much damage and if we open this i had to take the serial number off because well it basically fell off i took that's it, that that sticker came off etc they weren't stuck on very well so i had to stick it back on and i thought well why don't i put it there because it's then going to be protected for all 
materialism. So I did. This is the dust box. And there is a good reason why I have not taken the hose off in this video. If we look here. <laughs> there we go. Look. Can you see the hot glue? Yeah. Filter had a hole in it. And the filter washed up really, really nicely. And you know, here it is now looking fine. But yeah, I had to do something about that. So what I did <laughs> is I HEPA flowed it. I actually HEPA flowed it with, an ele with one of my HEPA Electrolux, you know, 2350E style vacuum cleaner bags. And where that cable tie is, is actually a sawn off plastic Hoover extension wand which fits inside the hose holder. It fitted in really nicely. So the hose holder with tube goes in, you put the bag on, and then, yeah, it's not something you'd want to use all the time, but equally, it is better for my use than having to, like, you know, scrub this filter clean and have the hole still there. So I think, yeah, it'll still take a fair bit of dirt anyway. It's not gonna be, you know, full up instantly. It'll expand. Etc. I've been using it a fair bit and it's done very, very well. Oh, I have not prepared my electricity supply. Ah, there's still laptops plugged into it. There we go. Oh, there goes all my training manuals. And we have power. And boy, do we have power. <laughs> Monstrously nippy, it is 600 watts, and especially, and this is why the HEPA flow helps it because that fills it's obviously designed to cope with that filter being quite clogged. It's got quite a heavy duty little motor in it, so the fact that it's now running, it's never going to get clogged up and need all that power, it's astonishing. Obviously, very short. enthusiasm to be a cocky little sod <laughs> it is fine when I'm you know just daily vacuuming my house because it's quite nice it seems that this filter actually pushes against the back of the bag so much that you know this sawdust is clogging the machine yeah that still sounds clogged I know what we'll do to finish off this video he said not being able to get his fingers behind the tabs is we'll take off the rubbery bit from the filter and pop it into here <laughs> this is a proper bodge do not recommend this unless you have a heavy flow fitted did it and of course obviously it'll do that this heifer flow bag is far better than you know even the stock filter it had but it's a bodge it's a definite bodge i'm also well i sound I quite loath to hack into this it is already broken so i could literally rip all of this off and open up the back 
So the bag does touch the motor house. I mean, even hot glue, a bit of filter to that. So the, you know, in the event of this does pop off if I do something really stupid, it doesn't destroy the motor. Lots of options. And again, that's why I've mentioned before, you know, I don't often chase after complete mint you know vacuums if this was a new inbox example no you could never do that ever but you'd also have to clean the filter well after every use you know or very regularly so little machines like this which you know don't owe me anything are really nice to use i you know i, I have been using it quite a lot actually especially over the past couple of weeks it is pretty wicked so yeah, it deserves to be hacked around. But the point about doing anything now, I'll pop it all back together and you know keep it whole until such time as I want to use it more. So say it's been okay when I've just been doing the daily vacuum and it's not really picking much up. But if there is proper dirt, probably not the machine, although it is a tiny little machine anyway, you know, a little micro vacuum cleaner. Not really designed for big mess tests either. But there we go, my, you know, not original, not complete, but quite cool Hitachi Stowaway Vacuum Cleaner. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I, and possibly this vacuum cleaner, will see you soon. Bye bye.